All right, with a date, with a convict? Oh yeah, Chicago radio station promoted a guy as a great catch, a kind single father, didn't get out much. Apparently they never mentioned 46-year-old Travis Harvey's shady past when they set him up with a female listener. Now, the way it was supposed to go down, they were supposed to go uh, to Chicago's House of Blues. Instead, he doesn't feel welcome. I'll just come over to my place for pizza. Well, she says she was drugged, and last week he pleaded guilty to sexual assault. Now, she's suing the radio station. Uh, one question makes me wonder, did they even do any kind of a background check on this guy? Here to argue this one, attorney Natricia Chicano. She supports the radio station in this. Also with us, uh, another attorney, Andrew Smiley, sides with the lady. Andrew, now, we I did. still do blame the radio station. What do you say? I saying? do, too. <laughs> of course you can blame them. And, you know, Natricia, you shouldn't be. I think you are blaming the victim. You're saying she used poor judgment in going over to this man's house. You can certainly blame the radio station. You should blame them. I think she has an excellent case. Look, they should have done a vetting or a screen of this guy. Anybody can go online with $10 and do a simple background check. It would have shown he was a, you know, a convicted felon. And uh, it's just outrageous. This radio station holds this out as some great guy to meet. People enter a contest because he's supposed to be such a great guy to meet him. Uh, you know, there's a reasonable expectation that this woman had that he'd be at least not a convict. I mean, she didn't need to win a contest. She could have gone to a bar and met a guy and probably had better chances uh, than, than what she did with this man. It's horrific what happened. They could have screened him, they should have screened him, and they're completely at fault, and, uh, and they're going to have to pay up for, what, for the damage yeah, that the, resulted. The